My name is Dom Liberati. I'm the lead QA tester on Helix. Hey, I'm trying to test out the pedal. Do you know where the rest of the units are? I believe they are that way. While we were testing it, we, uh, we did a lot of physical tests, did a lot of drop tests, kick tests. That's uh, ensuring that the physicality of the product is uh, satisfactory. as well as the overall user experience, whether that be in firmware, be in DSP. So basically, while we're testing, we would like to blow up different presets and, uh, and just make sure the transfer time between those is satisfactory. Make sure when you hit and stomp different models, um, that, that uh, the time between those is, is really quick. You just wanna make sure that uh, the models sound great. That's another thing. We, uh, that's another goal of ours. <laughs> My name is Ben Adrian. This is how we get the tones that make people go, yes, that's a tone. Ben is much like Samson. His power derives from his questionable facial hair. I am a sound designer at Line 6, and I worked on almost all of the amplifiers and a good number of effects in Helix. Hello. We found that it takes about a month to really nail an amp. Each amp model is a model of preamp stages, of tone stacks, phase inverters, power amps, of the various RC filters that are formed both intentionally and unintentionally within amplifier schematics. Before I worked at Line 6, I spent a number of years doing amp repair. I also had a small line of pedals that has a very exuberant following in certain circles of doom metal. My name is Matt Stabile and I'm the sound design manager at Line 6. Uh, in Helix I worked on the uh, HX amp and cab modeling and some of the effects modeling. When Matt starts talking about technology, my head nodding starts to give myself a neck ache and I'm glad we have workman's comp here. So for Helix, our goal was to match the frequency resolution of an impulse response that's 2048 points at 48 kilohertz, which gives you about 41 and a half milliseconds of resolution. Low frequency resolution that is extremely accurate. If a cab has a port, then you actually capture the entire resonance of that port. The distance parameter that we provide for moving the microphone from against the grill to 12 inches out accurately tracks the proximity effect and the low end bass boost that you get from that uh, as you're moving the mic away from the cab and towards the cab. And it also extremely accurately tracks the high frequency uh, comb filtering and other effects that you get as you're moving a cab away from uh, a reel. <laughs> well. My name is Sean Halley. Sean knows all the notes and he wants you to know that he knows all the notes. Technical marketing manager, multimedia producer, chief cork sniffer, MIDI implementation resource, and unfortunately for the rest of the people in the building, Chief Wheedler. Dude! Shut up! One of the benefits you get from all this extra circuit detail is increased dynamics and feel because we actually have individual control over each tube's sag. That's bad. Fine, fine, fine. Point, fine, point taken, okay? Just, whatever.